All right, intro time, fuck it. Hi everybody, welcome to the Caldwell Show. I'm Bunny, Mrs. Caldwell, you know, whatever you wanna call me, I'm totally cool with that. Today, you will be getting ready with me, getting this sleigh, okay? Cause it's my birthday, all right? We're dipping into Pat McGrath, we're dipping into Patrick Ta, Rare Beauty, and Fenty Beauty, and even Huda Beauty, okay? This is a look we're serving, period. Thank you. So stay tuned because now let's get into this glam, baby. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So today we're doing a get ready with me because it's my birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to my birthday we're getting ready for my birthday dinner so today I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta palette beautiful but y'all already know that I'm sure <laughs> and I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Hutopian dream palette so let's get right to it so I don't know if everyone has seen it I'm sure y'all have but this is how she looks She's real cute. Like, Petrita did his thing. I also love that this goes completely flat. So, if I choose to use this mirror, I can, you know, like this. But um, I'm not. <clears throat> I like my big old Fenty travel mirror. This, this is my girl right here. She's the perfect size. So, today we're keeping it neutral, but we're going to make it just warm. Glam. It's going to be, it's going to be real cute. I promise. All right, my nose is running, babe. Cut. So I've already primed my lids with the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. Y'all know to deal with that. You know we can skip the basics. Let me just make sure everything is smooth again. And we. So first, I'm going to use this cream right up in here. I really love the concept of a you know cream shadow like it's just absolutely beautiful and Patrick Ta is like the first one to make me want to use it it goes on so smoothly I barely like even have to dip in the pan okay I'm just using this all the way over because this is going to be just a beautiful base that makes all the shadows just completely go on super, super smooth. Okay guys, so now I have covered the lid completely with the cream shades. So next, I am going to dip into this shade right here. I believe, you know, these things are really confusing for me. Uh, I think it's absolutely. <laughs> okay. We're dipping into absolutely. Look at that. You see how the creams help the, how can I say, the tackiness of the powder shadows. I am lost for words right now. <laughs> This is the palette that I wore on my wedding day. So this is fun because I haven't pulled out this palette since. I'm not really much of a neutrals girl. So I'm just popping this shadow into my crease. I really be looking for these shade names cause it's like they put the whole palette like this, but then if you flip it underneath, it's like totally reversed and you gotta be like, eh. Bitch, what? Okay, so I think, I think, don't quote me, I'm going to dip into this shade right here, Mother, and I just want to start deepening the outer V, just like this, with a large shader brush. Oh, yeah. For those of you who have this palette, tell me, do you love it? I do. <laughs> 
If Patrick Toss stays around for the rest of my life, of which I'm sure his brand will, and they continue to make this first palette, I'm here to tell you that I will be purchasing this literally forever because this palette holds a special place in my heart because it's my wedding day palette. I always do so much color with you guys, but today we're going neutral because my birthday dress is a neutral color. All right, then I'm just gonna go back into my shader brush and use that crease color that I used in my transition first. Just making sure it doesn't get lost, connecting it, blending, blending, blending. Ooh, my back. Oh, oh, oh my back. I'm getting old. <laughs> that's, that's all that means. Also, I forgot to mention, I put on Patrick Ta's lip mask, and she's juicy. It's the only shade, but, you know, I'm just telling you the name. I've been really loving it. I'm like, it's a Patrick Ta today. Like, the Pats are winning today. Now, with a little blender brush, I'm going back into Mother to bring it across and continuously deepen this area right here. So now I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which I believe is Opulence. It's like a beautiful rose gold. It's like a, it's like a topper, basically. It's a topper, but I love it. And I love how he made his shadows. Look at that. Stunning. Let's go. So although some of the shimmers are toppers, and some are more opaque. They are really, really stunning on the eyes. Like, and the creams in here just help it really stick very well, which I absolutely love. So I wanted to brighten up that base first. Now I'm going to go into the Legendary. This one is like a deeper rose gold to it. I just want to mix them real quick. These are definitely like larger flecks of glitter. That's for sure. All right, so I'm just going to reiterate that first glitter topper just to really brighten it up, keep it warm. All of these today literally are becoming my I'm using these, although it's toppers, beautiful, beautiful toppers. I'm actually going to use them as a uh, base. Patrick Ta has done his job. This, this is beautiful already. You see, I'm basically almost done. And you can get a full, nice, everyday, neutral, but still glam. It's something about that palette that's just absolutely um, just... Lux. It's Lux as fuck. So now we're getting into Utopian Dream. I'm just really quickly going to use her Intensifies Artistry Wand. This is my boo thing right here. I will never use another glitter glue anything ever again. Like when it comes to shimmers and just amplifying them, not only just with her line, but like literally it's that beautiful. With Patrick Ta's palette, you don't need the artistry one per se because the creams do what they're supposed to do. They give him what they're supposed to give, honey. It's given what it's supposed to get. Then give. So now I am going to use this also is my absolute favorite from Fenty Beauty. This is my favorite pencil brush. I adore this brush i use it literally every time i get ready for it in a corner it goes down it goes down so we're just going to dip into this shade right here the astro venusian orchid okay and we're going to use a little bit of the gold 
we're mixing them today. I want to keep it warm, but I want it like, bam, because it's my birthday. Like, hello, would we do it any other way? Woo! Look at that. Stunning. I do recommend with these sorts of shadows, do your eyes first. Do you, I do brows, then eyes. That's just me normally. Um, but it's my birthday, so today I just don't want a whole bunch of glitter in my face. Like, I'm going out. Okay. That's so pretty. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of the gold out of Pat. Right just over very lightly. The pets are holding me down today. So just if you get a little messy with these two uh, formulas, especially pads, because it's so packed with like flecks of glitter, like it's literal flecks of glitter that it's just smart to just do your eyes first, honey, please trust me. So I'm trying to blend the gold from Pat and Patrick Pa with my fingers as much as possible. And then I'm just going to go back, clean this up. I want to bring the Astro Venusian Orchid all the way up here. A lot of people keep their inner corners like just in this area. But for me personally, I love to bring it all the way up. I just think it's really pretty. I love it on my eyes, you know? Stunning, stunning. So if you get some like all in this area, like don't worry because you can just literally clean it up. It's so simple. You really, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, now I'm going back into Patrick Ta. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here and just blend everything. This The shade I just chose Although it, it has basically tiny little flecks of glitter, this shade right here. But it's got such a good matte base that you can just blend everything out. I just want to blend everything together. Um, the glitter is not overpowering. Truthfully, it's like a one and done kind of shade. You really can just get away with it and leave with just that on your lids, honestly. If you gotta go, you gotta go. You see, it's got a matte base. So the glitter, let's see. To me, the glitter is so minimal. It doesn't matter, honestly. But I love shades like that. Now using a clean blending brush, I'm literally just merging this together right here. Just a clean brush. A little secret tip, which probably not a secret in the makeup community. But for those women who don't really wear makeup, if you just take a clean blending brush, not only are you blending what you already have down, but it also works for a little cleanup action. It really will clean up your look. All I want to do is blend. That's it. One and done. Now I'm just going to do some quick liner. We have the MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line. Literally in black. It's just, it's black liner gel. <laughs> Nothing special. Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm feeling real cute. You know, I'm in my birthday dress. I've already lined my lips with Charlotte Tilbury. real cute so if anybody is curious i am wearing the fenty beauty original pro filter soft matte foundation the fluid and then i set it with this i just got all that boring stuff out the way popped on some lashes you know because i'm feeling real cute i'm feeling cute it's my birthday i'm in such a good mood my baby's taking me out it's gonna it's gonna be nice it's gonna be so nice so 
since I was obsessed with sweet cheeks, I had to go back and get the Huda Beauty, um, the cream lipstick and Habibi. And I just love the name Habibi because um, what a lot of people don't know is I'm from Chicago and the first language I ever spoke was Arabic. So Habibi is like love, my love. It's been a while, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Habibi means love or my love. So this is just a beautiful brown, but it's got like a berry undertone that I think will go beautifully with the Pillow Talk liner. Mm. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect match. I had to pick this up in the um, Sephora sale that's like going on still right now, okay? It was from my actual birthday, which is December 3rd through December 12th. Uh, Y'all have just got two more days. You better run down there for something you need, cause at least for me, uh, skincare is not cheap, but this is just like, I had to pick up little things that I wanted. Okay, now let's get into some blush. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Again, tongue tied. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Cream. Cut all this shit, cut it, cut it. Delete all that I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty cream blush finally i got it out all right in <laughs> rose latte all right it's just uh, it's one of them days i'm just excited you know i just absolutely love this color it's it's literally that it's i see why she named it rose latte because it's literally a brown with a rosy undertone, which will just go perfectly with this look. For this, I have her little uh, brush that it came with, but I like my fingers, so let's get it. Oh, pause. Look at that, oh, gorgeous. Yep. Uh-huh, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. You gotta admit, this is, this is gorgeous blush. Can't nobody um, tell me otherwise. <laughs> and even if you did, I wouldn't care. Cause it's pretty to me. This is just a real rosy, glowy look today. And then, I'm gonna set it real quick, but super duper lightly, like a dust setting. This, this is good right here. It's good right here. Okay, let me wipe off my hands for, cause I'm clumsy. This will be on my birthday dress and um, this material, you're not supposed to get stuff on it. So now, now I'm going to highlight with the Rare Beauty Luminizer in Flaunt. I love this color. If anyone is medium deep complexion like me, this is the color I recommend. And this is like a big ass bottle. <laughs> it's really goddamn big, like. But I mean, it's cool. So I just wanna dab some like this. I wanna fuse this right into my blush. Look at that pigment. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh. Might have a little too much, but that's okay, it's okay. We ain't gonna panic. You dab a little bit before it dries. There we go. Accidentally went up a little too high because I'm excited. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to makeup. Like to me, the blush, the eyeshadow and the lips is the fun part. Like, do y'all really need to see another foundation routine? No, you don't. So if you ever mess up, just use whatever beauty blender that you blend your concealer with or brush 
and you can just go ahead and just clean it up it's like really no big deal it's so simple i'm going for a subtle glow today sometimes i get heavy-handed when i'm excited i'm not gonna hold you I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first. That way I control it a little better. Here we go. Here we go. We're just gonna blend this in. All right, okay. <laughs> Does anyone else like to use their hands? My freaking hair. Get back there. Jeez. Okay. I love this Rare Beauty highlighter. Everyone was complaining that it wasn't like punching enough, but I think that, you know, she's on trend with releasing this sort of formula. Now me, I love a good punch. Don't get it twisted, honey. But at the same time, there are days like now, I just want to glow. And on those, it's like a glow from within. I even used her like luminizing primer. I'm not quite sure of the name, but I'll pop it, you know, over here or there whenever um just so i get the name right and it gives a glow from within like i feel like my makeup my foundation is glowy and i really love that just dab some more on the back of my hand oh ipsy did good with this luminizer so I'm not gonna lie, I was a little hesitant of liquid highlighters, but Selena's is literally in the name. It's luminous, it's not pow, highlight, you know? And I, I really love that for a sexy, sultry, smoky, golden look today. This is gonna look sexy as hell in the candlelight. There we go. So everything is melted in perfectly um, with my foundation, with the powder underneath. You know, it's giving glow. It's giving glow. I gotta wipe my hands. I'm so scared to get this on my beige birthday dress. Like, oh my goodness. I would like literally cry because this is my only birthday dress. So where I'm going, I swear, like, I would cancel. <laughs> Go back to this. All right, so I'm gonna give myself the last little setting spray. This is the famous, famous Urban Decay All Nighter in Ultra Matte. I just wanna really melt everything together. Oh, let me move my hair first. All right, now I'm gonna go melt everything together. And then I love just patting it in, sinking my setting spray really into the skin. It'd be so lovely. Oh. Now, if you guys get, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I think it was a piece of a napkin. If you guys get this um, ultra matte setting spray, I'm here to tell you like definitely, definitely shake it well because it has powder inside of the actual spray, which I love. If you're a performer, I'm telling you, this is the spray to get. All right, let's bring the hair forward. Oh, it's like big 
luscious birthday voluminous curls going on my hair is like I want to say 3B 3A hair type and so it's like so freaking like soft so I love giving it more body like when when it's curly it's nice and big but like this you know it can it can get very flat so that's why I did my little pin curls and we called it a day guys yes me and my big ass forehead because I know my husband gonna be like damn your your forehead is mad big and it's and it's like I don't care I mean I don't care it's so beautiful but damn look at my fucking forehead yeah. so once again guys if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for what am I waiting for what am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? Fuck you! I mean, I swear, I am giving looks. I will give you plenty of looks, plenty of just laughs. You know, have a good time. We could chit chat. We could do whatever. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, please. It really helps with my channel's growth and visibility. It's super duper important so thanks guys bye bye